guys out at the park today and wanted to go ahead and connect up with you for a little bit to talk to you about why a band and a park go together really well. All right? First of all, I want to go ahead and talk about bar depth. You know, look at the bars that you have to hook onto. And the cool thing about all these bars that are hooked up here is they're all round. And they all have at least probably an inch and a half diameter. Some of them, like this one, have almost a five inch diameter. The cool thing about that is none of those are going to go ahead and damage your band because we know that round bars and attachments onto the, attaching the band onto round bars is always the best way to go ahead and go. Second thing is, look at all the different levels that you have the ability to attach your band onto. Now, I can attach my band up high, I can attach it down low, I can attach it up onto bars here. So you have different levels of attachment height. Why is that important? Because it's going to allow you to create much significant or a much greater variety of band tensions and band vectors that's going to in turn allow you to exercise muscles in a little bit different direction. Yet keep in mind, this is a three-dimensional body, guys. The muscles are not straight plane. So by being able to change the direction of the band, change the height of the band, it's going to allow you to go ahead and attack the muscle in a much more aggressive way. The other thing is, because of all these high-level attachment sites, now you can go ahead and do all your assisted training. Yeah, assisted pull-ups, assisted push-ups, assisted squats, assisted squat jumps. All right? You have pretty much any type of body weight exercise that you want to do, you can assist in a playground. So that's, again, another great reason to go ahead and think about a playground when it comes to band training. All right? Talk about surfaces. You know, most playground surfaces are really soft which makes it very convenient to go ahead and do plyometric type drills, maybe a little bit of uh, running type drills, maybe even a little bit of type of step and drills. But the bottom line is, every time your foot leaves the ground and comes back into the ground, it's going to be soft. And therefore, if you've got some joint related issues, you can go ahead and take band training and all those plyometric drills that I showed you in the past, and now you can incorporate them into using them at a playground because you know what, your joints are going to be able to handle them. So keep that in mind. You know, the other thing is you're looking at most playgrounds come with multiple types of surfaces or courts or other types of Mother Nature's equipment. Yeah, things like hills, things like soccer fields, things like soccer goalposts, basketball goalposts, basketball courts, all right, picnic tables. All of these things are tools that you can now incorporate into your playground band training. And in most cases, it's going to be dead weight training, so now you get a great contrasting of exercises between elastic resistance and dead weight resistance. Hey, minimal setup. Guys, if you bring your large group training uh, groups out into a playground, it literally takes you seconds to set up. Matter of fact, a lot of times I just have people bring their own bands out we hook them up to wherever we want out here and we go ahead and start training. You can set up situations where you have circuits where they have to move from station to station or just have them bring their bands out, have them find a pole to hook them to and you can go through an attachment circuit workout where all they got to do is stay in one spot and knock out a great workout. The attachments, the setups, it's super easy when you come to a playground and I recommend giving it a shot when you get a chance. You know, The other thing is what if it rains, Dave? What if the weather gets inclement while we're training? No big deal. Most playgrounds have shelter, shelter houses. So now you can go ahead and find a shelter to go ahead and, and, and be underneath. The good thing about that is you can go attachment-free training with your band. So let's say you've got a great circuit workout set up and it starts to rain. Pop your bands off, go underneath the shelter, do attachment-free training, and you don't have to miss a workout. Very easy to do. You know, probably the last thing are more conducive to just exercising in a playground. You know, number one, you got vitamin D everywhere, which means energy levels are going to be way up. It's a great way to go ahead and pick the energy level up in your boot camp or in your fitness camp. You know, the other thing is a lot of times playgrounds have uh, tracks that you can run around. We have a couple of different parks in this area where we can actually go and do and run on a trail through a woods. How cool is that to be able to run on a trail through a woods, come back, hit a strength training workout, go hit another circuit through the woods on the trail, come back? Man, you can't beat that when it comes to training. And guys, fitness has to be fun. So anything like that is always going to be a great time. And man, bands just add to that concept. All right. Lastly, you know what? A lot of parks are only a short distance away from your home or a very easy run. So a lot of times I'll just take a band 
hook it around my waist, link it through itself, hook this end into my shorts or go ahead and tighten it down onto my waist and go for a run. When I get to the park, I've got my band, i got my vitamin D, I've got my body weight for dead weight contrasting training, and I'm ready to go. And there isn't much I can't do. And now if you get a little bit of innovative and start looking at all the different ways you can body weight train, man, I guarantee you, you will be magnet, max, maximally challenged. I promise. I absolutely promise because you know what? That's what dead weight and that's what body weight training can do for you. Now add the elastic component into it and you got the whole spectrum of everything you need. Playgrounds, guys. You need to go ahead and check them out. You need to have consider taking your bands, taking your groups, and getting out to a playground and start working out because I think you're going to enjoy it, and I know your clients are going to enjoy it.